Hello and welcome to this film which is all about the metal displacement practical that you'll be doing in class. It's a very very simple practical, it involves a test tube rack, a couple of test tubes, some copper wire and some magnesium ribbon and in addition to those things you also need some silver nitrate and some copper sulphate. Now you might not get exactly the same concentrations that I've got here. I've got one mole per litre copper sulphate and 0.1 mole per litre silver nitrate. That's not too important. The concentrations aren't really all that important to this experiment. Now you're going to need to half fill your two test tubes with the two liquids. So here's one about half full of copper sulphate. It just goes in the test tube rack. And here's one about half full of silver nitrate, and we can put that one in the test tube rack as well. And what we're going to do in this experiment is we're going to put our two metals, copper and magnesium, into the two solutions. It's quite important that you get them the right way round. So the magnesium is going to go into the copper solution. Okay, I'm not going to put it in just yet. I'm just going to hook it over the top so it doesn't fall in. And the copper is going to go into the silver. But... Before we put the copper into the silver, we're going to make it into a nice coil. Okay, and I guess an easy way of doing this is to take your copper wire and to simply wrap it around a pencil until you run out of copper wire. And then you can just pull it off the pencil and you'll have a nicely coiled piece of copper. Okay, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to take off, so there you go. That's the sort of thing you're after there. Okay, and then what you're going to do, as I said with the magnesium, is you're going to put the metals into the two solutions. But we want to have photographs of the before and after. Now, the copper reaction is quite slow, so you can happily put your copper in the tube and then take a photograph of it and then put it back in the test tube rack and come back a few minutes later and take another photograph of it. Okay. The magnesium reaction, on the other hand, is quite fast. So as soon as you put your magnesium into the copper solution, it's going to start reacting. You might see something happening in there. So ideally, what would be good would be if you can take a photograph of it before they're mixed and come back sometime later and see if you can take a photograph of it after they're mixed so you can see what it actually looks like beforehand because if you try and take the photograph once you've put the metal in there you'll, all you'll see is the reaction going on and what we actually want to see is the before and after situations now I've used the safety mat here for this experiment which you might think is unnecessary because we haven't been heating anything but the silver nitrate does stain quite badly so it is worth putting down some protection onto your bench just in case you have any spills but if you do spill anything, make sure you clear it up nice and quick so that we don't end up staining anything too much. So that's about it for this practical. Remember, if you've got any questions about it, please make sure you ask your teacher before you start so that you've got a good idea of what's going on.